Dave Dugan's career started in construction, working for his dad. Well, lucky for him, Dick Clark found him and called him to Hollywood, and his career shoveling gravel was over. I don't think he was all that unhappy about that. Well, recently, he raised money for cancer and set a world record by driving in a roundabout a thousand and one times. Please welcome the very funny and the slightly dizzy Dave Dugan. How you doing? I'm uh, very excited uh, to be with you. I'm, well, I'm, I'm really excited because I'm getting ready to fake a slip and fall. Uh, Cause uh, I, I like to own a piece of this joint, but uh, yeah, I really uh, I am excited to be with you guys, and it's uh, it's you know I've I've come all the way from my hometown of uh, Carmel, Indiana, to drive. Oh, okay. You felt like you had to, right? So, and now here I am, and I'm just uh, uh, in a theater that is a very nice theater, and uh, I'm familiar with theaters because this summer I've mostly been performing in theaters, actually, uh, which has been going great. Uh, until people start yelling, get out of the way, we can't see Oppenheimer, but this, uh... <laughs> hey, does this hap happen to you? You know, you just can't wait to get out of a conversation with somebody because they're really annoying or obnoxious, uh, and uh, well, I got a great way to escape. You just go, how do you know when you've got pink eye? And uh, <laughs> they will scoot on and make a new little friend. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to have a good summer. I've done a few, th oh, I made my own uh, swimsuit this year. Um, <laughs> Uh, I made it completely out of CVS receipts. It, uh, it, it only takes three receipts to, to keep me decent, but so I can't, I can't wear dress shoes anymore. Uh, my eyes are up here. Uh, and uh, it's bad. I've got really bad f f flat feet. And, uh, and so it's, uh, it's really uh, it's hard to do certain sports. Um, and it's hard to act like I'm cool when I'm walking down the beach wearing my corrective thongs while I'm showing off my new CVS One Piece. You guys ever, ever have something uh, happen that is, uh, that's so life-changing, you don't know if you're ever gonna be able to bounce back from it? Well, let me just say, did you know that they stopped serving potato cakes at Arby's? All right, this, this might be troubling more, me more than it does you, but here's how I found out. Because to me, that's the crown jewel of Arby's, the potato cake. Now they don't. And I went in uh, recently to, do, to order my lunch. And then after I was uh, done with my order at the end, I just said, and I, I'd like a, a potato cake, please. And the guy behind the, uh, the, guy behind the counter, uh, was kind of a hillbilly guy, uh, well, I think by his grammar, uh, he goes, uh, 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 sir, we don't serve no potato cake anymore. So I, I just, I, I, there was a tingling in my ears. I thought I was going to lose consciousness. I, I almost passed out. Uh, and I couldn't, I couldn't even think of a backup plan. I couldn't think curly fries quick enough. And, <laughs> and then he's, uh, he's making things uh, more confusing for me because he, he had so many gums. I, you've seen, every, when you, sometimes you look at someone in particular and they've got, they got those, those forever, you know, the, you know what I, those forever gums? And I thought I saw my whole reflection in his gums. I thought I was gonna lose my mind when he said, do you want horsey sauce with that? It's like I... <laughs> I didn't even know, I didn't know Mr. Ed had a kid. So if you, uh, if you wanna, if you wanna know, I, well, I'm scared of horses if you wanna know the truth. Uh, but I'm a, I'm a big dog lover, I love dogs. And uh, in fact, I bond with them. I saw this dog the other day uh, and I felt bad for it. He had one of those cones around his neck. So that means they've had some sort of procedure or whatever. And I felt so sad and so much sympathy because a few years ago when I got fixed, that's what my wife made me wear and uh, <laughs> Which, uh, yeah. <laughs> good thing, because I wouldn't leave myself alone. I, who would have who known my hind leg was so flexible? You know, because I'm a giver, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, no, some people don't give their takers. I'm a giver. One of my favorite things to do is I like to prepare breakfast in bed. And, uh, and upon serving, occasionally I would maybe nice to hear like that you're so, that's so sweet or you shouldn't have as opposed to, how the heck did you get in our house? Um, so, uh, like I said, I drove in uh, today, and uh, they, they were very nice. They offered me a flight, but if I can drive, I usually like to drive because there's not as much hassle, you know, because, like, now when we go to get on an airplane at security, we all have to go through that full body scan, which that's so invasive, isn't it? I mean, 
Do you remember the good old days when we could just kind of uh, uh, watch some of the more, they just take a few of the more suspicious looking people and make them go through the, right? You could kind of, you know, stand back and point and laugh. And now we all are marched to the full body scan and I, something when I was in there must have snapped because I, I threw in a couple of pelvic thrust because I, I thought, well, I, th I think they want a show and uh, they, they, did, they did not want a show. Uh, you, you do the, oh, they jerk you right out of there. Uh, they put on a glove. They got a, they got a wand as big as this mic stand. You know you're in deep when they get that wand out. And I, 25 minutes uh, went by. I thought I was going to miss my flight. I finally said to the security guy, I said, if you don't stop with your bad touches, well, I'm going to grab my carry-on and, and squirt you in the eyes with no more than three ounces of contact lens solution. <laughs> So uh, this is, uh, let's see, 26 years of marriage uh, this year from my wife and I, and, uh, that, and I have no complaints. It's a great marriage. Although when I'm with her, a lot of times, I don't know if any other husbands hear this, people look at me and they go, wow, you, you married up. <laughs> and uh, that's a nice compliment for her. I'm just thinking, well, how, how, how much did I marry up? I mean, am I just slightly out of my league? Are you saying she has some sort of a facial uh, recognition disorder? That's the only reason she's with me? So... <laughs> I get a little revengeful. I actually, uh, you know, sometimes when they say, oh, you married up. Oh, well, yeah, she's, she's pretty, but she, she snores like a sailor. Uh, <laughs> I'm not even kidding about that. And it's not even a, it's not a human snore. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a hog snore. Uh, she woke herself up with it the other night. She goes, oh, I must have been dreaming. I said, oh, you must have been dreaming about wallowing in mud because I've never, never heard anything like that before in my life. Thank you guys so much. Thank you very much. <laughs> hey, Dave, Thank you, let me tell you, my friend, I think you better spend the night in Nashville. Because oh, yeah. if I were you, I wouldn't go home for a few days after that story. <laughs> well, I see what you're saying, yeah. It's great having you here. Nice being here. Thank, Thank you, you for coming. Great place. And to book Dave Dugan for your event and to see his new special title, Keeping Your Marriage Interesting, uh, which I'm sure he's going to do now. <laughs> Go to Huckabee.tv. We have all the connections. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you will now. The button is just below this video, and there's a little bell next to it. If you click on those, YouTube will reluctantly start letting you know when we've got a new video uploaded.